I'm JoltKing627, and today I'm going to be showing you how to do some simple upgrades to the X-Shot Skins Flux. Let's get right into it. To start out, we're going to of course need to remove all of the screws. Of note, there are screws underneath the slide, so you are going to need to remove this side of the slide. There is a clip right here that you will need to remove to do so. Which I just removed there with my fingernail. Now this can come right off. Thankfully all of the screws are the same size so you can't get them mixed up. Okay, before we go and modify anything, let's take out some parts that may want to go sporing during our modification process. So we can take out couple of pieces for the slide movement mechanism. We can also take out the trigger and the catch. Now we can turn our attention to the plunger system. It just comes right out. So here we can detach the barrel and work on that first. So as you can see, here is our air restrictor and it's kept in the back here. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our pliers, we're just going to snip that off right there. And there goes the air restrictor spring. You can take that off. And I'm just going to snip off this center peg. We can get rid of the spring, but we're going to keep the air restrictor for now. We'll find out why later. Now we're going to use our pliers to attempt to remove the dart peg. Unfortunately, this tactic has failed to remove the entire dart post, so we're going to switch to plan B. We want to try and do everything we can to keep this piece here because that will act for a backstop to make sure our darts can't be vacuum loaded. So what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to use this drill bit here to try and drill out the center just enough that it'll make the rest of the peg fall out. And there we go. The other thing that I want to do to this barrel is I want to brass it because one of the things with this blaster is the barrel is fairly short. So when it's in the blaster here, you have this dead space here where there is no barrel, and the barrel is shorter than an actual full-length dart, which isn't the best for accuracy. So what we're going to do is we're going to add brass, and we're going to have it at least come out to the tip here. Take this tool right here, and I'm going to move a little bit of material to help the brass go in just by flaring this edge. Now, try putting that in. This looks like the barrel isn't going to narrow at all until we get to the very end, so I should theoretically be able to just hammer this in. I'm gonna go ahead and finish this off camera because this is actually shaking my table. All right, I now have the brass in all the way so that when the barrel is now in the shell, you can see it only comes out to the edge, so you're not gonna core sample anybody. It's still not the full length of a full length dart, but it is more than it was before, and that is an improvement. The other thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my pliers, and I'm actually going to rotate here. What we're trying to do is we're trying to give the brass kind of a cone shape so that darts will feed in easier. Okay, now I need to address the plunger system. There are two things we need to do here. Number one, there is a cavity on the plunger head. That's where the air restrictor actually protrudes backwards from the barrel into. But now with the air restrictor removed, it's just dead space. And second of all, with the air restrictor removed, I am more worried about wear on the blaster with this thin X-Shot plastic. So we need to add some form of plunger pad. So what we're going to do is we're going to kill two birds with one stone. We're going to use the original air restrictor and this round piece of foam and some hot glue to both fill the void there and add a pad. The reason we're going to use the original air restrictor to help fill that cavity is because it's very, very light. Hot glue is heavy. You don't want to add too much weight to your plunger head, or it'll be harder for it to accelerate. And there we have it. The plunger head dead space is now filled, and we have a pad. I'm going to quickly re-lubricate the plunger tube with some slug slime. Okay, so we're going to start with this lever piece, and it needs to go with this little protrusion sticking up on this post here. Then we can have the catch and its spring right here. Then we can have the trigger, and the hole on the trigger goes on that protrusion on the lever. 
to make sure that is in the correct position. Now I can add the plunger tube and barrel with the ring pointing up. There we go. We gotta add this piece back in with the protrusion pointing toward the barrel. Right up there. You put the spring for the slide back in as well. With this side of the shell back on, now we can start putting in screws. And now we can put the slide back on with its clip going in that slot. Give it a quick test fire. And it's working. After all the upgrades, I'm getting about 80 to 85 FPS, which is only really 5 FPS more or so than what it was getting already. But the real benefit here is the longer barrel yields a little bit better accuracy. I'm sure that with a spring upgrade, this can hit a whole lot harder. Now, let's see it fire. All right, we've got a few chili darts. Let's give it a firing demonstration. Pretty well. Let me know what you think of this mod in the comment section down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe, check out the merch, and thank you all for watching.